Hi all and welcome to this another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is all based on uh, 360 degrees video inside of Premiere Pro. Uh, and actually we're going to do some Photoshop as well. The awesome thing is that you can edit your 360 degrees video inside of Premiere Pro. So I already got some uh, some 360 uh, material inside of my edit and I want to see the 360 uh, globe if you will. So I'm going to turn on my uh, toggle VR display. Uh, which gives me this interface and actually I would like to see some bit more of my uh, my video so I'm going to go for my settings VR video and hide the control so I don't see all the things around it gives me more video and now I can drag around this uh, this 360 degree video so that's pretty cool uh, but the thing that bothers me is that when I look down I always see a bit of the tripod over there and it would be better and more professional in my opinion uh, to hide this part uh, with your logo um, but because of the fact that this is a 360 degrees video it's a bit hard to put a logo in there um, so we're going to do that a different way and we're going to use a photoshop for that um, so let's go back to the normal interface toggle vr display off and let's jump into photoshop so now what I've done is uh, I've made a, a new Photoshop file. So file new. And I've chosen for some presets because we're working in a, a video uh, template. So we're going to go to film and video. And here we can find the HDTV 1080p preset, which is perfect. And this will give you a Photoshop file which has the uh, exact format of the video inside of Premiere Pro. So that's basically what I've done. And uh, I've made a circular logo inside of this Photoshop file. Now we need to use a, a, a Photoshop filter um, uh, across all these layers. So I'm going to merge these layers into one. So select all the layers and then merge layers. So that will give us one layer. And I've still got the background so that's perfect. Now I want to transform it so it will fit the whole uh, video format. So I'm going to uh, disorder it quite a bit. So I'm going to go for Edit, Transform, Scale. And just drag it across the whole width. Something like this. And the whole height of the Photoshop file. There we go, perfect. And let's uh, rotate it uh, uh, as well, 180 degrees. And in that way it will be in the correct position for the viewer who is looking uh, downwards uh, at the first time inside of your edit. So that's perfect. Um, so let's go for the Disort Polar Coordinates filter. Choose Polar to Rectangular. That will give us this little uh, uh, image, which is looking really strange, but Premiere Pro will make it circular again. So that's uh, looking strange, but it's going to work out perfectly. And now to make it all work inside of Premiere Pro, we'll need to ro uh, rotate it again, 180 degrees. And in my opinion, it works best when this title has a height of about a seventh of the height of the video. So I'm going to use Command T again and um, divided by 7 that gives us about 14 percent of the height there we go that's okay and now let's uh, crop it there we go so that gives us only the logo in a really strange format but believe me it's gonna work so now i'm gonna save it as a JPEG or a PNG or whatever you'd like. There we go. 360 logo.jpg. Perfect. And now let's get into Premiere Pro again. And now we can import that file that we just made. There we go, and just drag it on top of the other video. And let's make it the same length. There we go. Well, this is uh, fairly awkward, uh, because this video uh, has actually got a 4K resolution. Um, so I need to scale it upwards a bit. 
So go into the effect controls, make it fit. There we go. And now place it on the bottom of the screen. There we go. And now we don't see the tripod anymore. And when we go back to the uh, 360 view, look downwards again. It will give us the logo. There's little dots in between. So I need to uh, make sure that it's correctly on the pixels. There we go. And now we can uh, move across the video. And when we look downwards, it will give us the correct logo. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, when you want to have it a bit smaller, the logo, then you need to scale the height of the video um, downwards. So not the uniform scale, but the height as well. So this was 200. And when we lower the height, it will get smaller. And of course, you need to change the position of the logo as well. A little bit more downwards and there we go now it's a little bit smaller logo and still hiding the tripod below um, so those are the things that you can do to alter the video and of course when you want to export your video make sure that you export your uh, 360 degrees timeline through export media and because of the fact that it's uh, a 360 degree uh, footage it will show you that this video is VR, monoscopic, um, and when this uh, part is enabled, it will export your video with the correct metadata in order for you to upload it to YouTube and make it all work inside of your uh, Google Cardboard or within the, the Chrome browser on your uh, computer device, on your desktop computer. So that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching and see you again. Thank you for watching and see you again in another time in another quick tip. Bye bye.